Hello, my friends. Uh, this is just a hypothetical situation, just to postulate. So, depending on what scientists you listen to and what uh, study you read, you'll see that between three and a half billion to uh, five and a half billion years from now, uh, the sun will burn out, supposedly. And uh, the, um, the hydrogen um, uh, will stop converting over to helium. And uh, what we'll have is uh, a burnout phase, uh, just a total burnout of the sun. And um, what do you think about this in terms of if you were, st if you were alive during that period of time? Uh, of course, technology by then would, would hopefully be amazing, just off the chart. And uh, hopefully at that time, hopefully if we had that many billions of years to figure out space travel, we could get off the planet and just go to another solar system, maybe even another galaxy, and just start over, recolonize. I would assume by then we would already have multiple colonies probably all over the freaking place. And so um, probably this isn't really that big of an issue at that, if you were living in that time period. But let's just say that that time period was now and that we're limited, supposedly we're limited, at least the powers to be wants, to, wants us to think that we're limited in all this technology. But let's just say that there is no option for, you know, you and I, the average lowly citizen in America or whatever country you live in. And, uh, and we knew that within a few years, the final phase of the burnout of the sun would, would commence. This would be like pretty, pretty crazy because you would find yourself in lot, having a lot of problems, uh, specifically because you couldn't really raise and grow food tr in the traditional sense. Uh, you wouldn't have anything to feed cattle, so they would pretty much die off because the grass wouldn't grow if there's no photosynthesis. So this is, this is a problem. I think you're kind of left with just uh, maybe just two or three options maybe. Uh, storing as much food as possible for the first one. Number two, uh, storing as many seeds as possible and just doing a lot of sprouting. You could sprout because that doesn't, doesn't require photosynthesis for seeds to sprout. So that's the second option. And maybe a third option um, would be to generate your own light source. Maybe if you had your own, uh, then this is the difficult part because if you don't have any sun to create <laughs> and charge your batteries, if you have a solar system, uh, maybe maybe wind turbines, whatever that system you would have, this is the difficult part. Maybe it could be a wood fuel or I don't really know, wood gas. But whatever you had to, to create the source of energy, and maybe you could convert that into electricity, obviously, uh, and you could have maybe full spectrum UV lights to, uh, to, to grow things, uh, maybe in a nursery or a garden area. So, I mean, what do you think about this? I mean, it's, um, there might be other options that I didn't think about. Those are just the three that I thought of, but uh, that would be a big challenge. And I think that, of course, our, our main push at that time would be get off the planet, most likely, uh, unless there was just a, a great release of technology, and I'm sure there would be great incentive <laughs> for the human race to come, come up with very creative ways to uh, counter the darkness uh, and the, the lack of you know, UV light uh, and uh, invisible light just so that we can function and so life can continue, especially for food sources. And so, uh, yeah, what do you think about this topic? I think it's kind of fascinating. You know, I've, been, I've been following this since when I was a little kid. Uh, talking about people postulating all these scenarios of when the sun burns out, does that mean automatically that we, uh, we die? Of course, there's a lot of people say when the sun actually burns out, it'll kind of expand and, uh, and maybe even swallow us up. I, I don't know. Uh, so may maybe we don't have an option to be on this planet, uh, depending on what theory you listen to. But, um, but if we did have an option to stay here and we wouldn't be destroyed or killed, uh, while the, the sun dies out, what would you do and how would you do it? Thanks for watching.